We're back at SolidWorks Live in the 3D Experience Playground at 3D Experience World 2020. I am joined on set here uh, with Dan Turner, CEO and founder of Traxel. Dan, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Hi, thanks for having me. So, Dan, you're an attendee here at 3D Experience World. This is your first event? First event, been to? first time, yep. So, first of all, what are your first impressions? It's really cool. I'm pretty impressed by all of the booths that were set up and the breakout sessions, and I've already started learning a lot, so it's really cool. It's a really good learning experience. Did you get a chance to go to the general session at all this morning? I did, yeah. You did. What'd you think, uh, what'd you think of that? A lot of I like the magic wheelchair stuff. That was really cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. I like that creative aspect. People looking at different ways that they can make a positive impact on the world around them, that's not far off from what you guys are doing at Traxel, is it? Nope, not too far. So you have something here on the table. Show us a little bit. You have a, should it, you have a camera up here in front of you. Show us what you're doing here and explain what this example is. So this is just a sample of our product, but what we're doing is essentially painting optical fiber directly on pavement to avoid the cost and time to trench cables underground. So w why, why would that be important? I, you know, we, I, I'm in a big modern city. They're willing to dig a trench to do this. It's well, very expensive to trench. There's a lot of other utilities you have to avoid. Our thought is can we bring connectivity and high-speed connectivity to areas that are just challenged to receive it or challenged to get it? So this is really interesting. This will this can help places in the world where otherwise bringing internet connectivity to them can be a really big challenge, right? Yeah, certainly places that might see a hurricane or disaster relief where you need to get connectivity quickly. Uh, we see a lot of opportunities there. And then just in underserved areas, rural communities, we see a lot of potential to bring high-speed connectivity to those places using what's already there, which is the roads. Yeah, I mean, this seems like a, an easy win to really connect the rest of the world together Absolutely. with one another. Yep. So tell me how you got started with this idea. So it actually started with my dad who couldn't get high-speed internet to his house. The installer came out and basically told him he'll never get it. And I just, that didn't sit well with me. And, and the fact that he used the road network to get to him, I said, why can't we just paint fiber to where we want to go. And uh, so I spent some time in his garage and I built a prototype machine. And we, we have this machine we call the fiber traxer that's laying optical fiber directly on pavement right now. So you, wait, you went from an idea <laughs> to you have a machine that actually lays this yeah. on the road. Yes. That's really cool. Is there some place where we can learn a little bit more about this and see, the, I, oh, I want to see this machine. We, we don't have any videos or <laughs> okay. pictures of the machine on our website, uh, but if you go to Traxel.com, you can kind of see what the finished product looks like. Our most recent installation we actually did at Dulles Airport where we helped connect two rental car buildings together with connectivity. Okay. And Traxel is T-R-A-X-Y-L, correct? That's right. Yep. That's your website, T-R-A-X-Y-L.com? That's right. Very cool. So we'll, probably, we'll end up pulling that up here on screen. The, the folks at home will be able to see that a little bit sure. uh, here in a moment. So you're also a little bit, so you're, you're a tried and true, literally what we would think of as an entrepreneur. You had an idea, I got to get this to market, right? Yeah. What are some of the challenges you faced? <laughs> it, 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 There's a lot of challenges that I had no idea about. The main thing was we invented this cool product, but then we needed to invent the machine to lay the product. So it was, <laughs> it's kind of a two in one for us. Uh, it just just going through the processes, trying to find funding. We did apply for a lot of grants, and we, we did win some contracts to kind of keep us going. But it's all self-funded, bootstrapped. We're a small four-person company, and we're just we're just ready to pop. We're just so excited about what we can get from SolidWorks and, and, and how we can use that to our developing our next machine, essentially. And you guys are getting started, try, uh, coming into engineering. You reached out to SolidWorks, and you're actually involved in the entrepreneurship program with SolidWorks, right? Yeah, SolidWorks was great enough to give us three licenses to use SolidWorks for a year, and, and they invited us to this event, and that's why we're here today. And we're looking for some engineers to potentially hire and help us get to the next level with this thing. Well, you're at one of the biggest engineering community <laughs> events that takes place every year. Yeah. I hear, I'm hearing numbers around six, maybe 6,000 people here. Uh, potentially, you could find some, some folks here to, to get involved with. Absolutely. We're, we're trying to get to all the networking events. So we're, we're meeting as many people as we can. And certainly, if you're watching on TV and you think you might be a good fit for a startup, you can email me directly at daniel at traxel.com, and I'd be happy to, to talk to you more about it. 
Yeah, so if you're interested in getting and starting with a company from the ground, ground up, up Getting to work with SolidWorks, designing what sounds like a pretty cool machine, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I, I'd love the to. The Fiber uh, Trackster. The Fiber Trackster. Yeah. That sounds incredible. Uh, definitely reach out to them and, uh, and find out more information uh, from them about this. So, um, so, what else, so we're, we're our first day into here. Have you gotten an opportunity to kind of look around at some of the partners or anything like that? Have you picked up, you had mentioned you're learning a whole lot of stuff here. What are some of the things you've done? So I'm new with, with SolidWorks, so just learning about the, just the nomenclature, how people talk about it, what the software looks like, the hardware that's used to run it. I mean, I'm, I'm a hardware guy, obviously, uh, so I'm really interested in, in a lot of the hardware aspects that, of, of what's needed to run SolidWorks, but I just, I'm just ready to learn more, too. I'm, I'm still learning every day. And uh, I'm just excited about what what the potential this tool is going to enable us to do for manufacturing these machines. Well, that's a really cool story. I, I hope you I hope while you're here you get the opportunity to run into some engineers. I hope so too. Uh, this is a really exciting product. Uh, it was brought up to me here while we were sitting at the live booth, and I was like, "Yes, let's get <laughs> on here. We need to talk about this. This is really cool." So uh, what a cool product. And Dan, I just want to say thanks for joining us up Thank here on so stage. Thank you so much for having me. I hope me. you have a good 3D really experience world. It. And we had mentioned it before. If you want to learn more, traxyl.com, traxyl.com. Right. Stay you. tuned. We're going to be uh, coming back shortly with a breakout session for uh, at 4.15. We're so we're going to actually have a little bit of a break in here. So probably in about 20 minutes, we're going to be coming back. We're going to be broadcasting a breakout session uh, from John Hall titled SolidWorks Assembly Tips and Tricks. And if you tuned into the breakout session we had a little bit earlier, you may have noticed at the end there was a sneak peek at some cool technology coming in SolidWorks 2021. So stay tuned and enjoy. <laughs>